Uh, Luke Arkea, Co, just a bit of Dynasty Warriors 9 news. They released an update that improved the FPS. You know what, Luke Arkea? That's good to hear, but I gotta say, dude, I've, I, I was planning on streaming Dynasty Warriors, and uh, I actually, someone in the community checked it out for me, and, and some other streamers have played it. I was given a hard no by every streamer I talked to, by the person I had looking at the game. I was basically just given a hard no. They said, it's, it's, it's not like, the game itself apparently has fundamental issues. Uh, like they tried to change the way it works a little bit from other Dynasty Warriors 9 and like King Gathalion tweeted out, he just said it doesn't work. So, I don't know man. I, I was looking forward to trying it, but I'm hearing it's pretty bad. Am I going to the wrong marker? I don't think so. He said follow He said follow the river to the west, and that's what we're doing. We're looking for other charcoal burners right now. We got a lot of area we can cover still before uh, before this bubble ends that this quest is supposed to be in. So it may just be the guy we're looking for is down here. Also, I am in... What is this? Is this more Lavarian or whatever it's called? Oh, that's nothing. Okay. If you install mods like Unlimited Saves, does it disable achievements? That's a great question, bro. I don't have an answer for that. If someone could answer them, uh, I'd, I'd like to know the answer too, actually. In most cases when you mod Steam games, it does disable the achievements. So, yeah. Bye Bye and Pi said, you need to try things before you judge them, or have you forgotten Xenoblade already? Fair enough. That is a fair point, Bye Bye and Pi. That is a fair point. But... I will say with, with Dynasty Warrior 9, it's one thing to not try a game because you don't think you'll like it. It's another thing not to try a game because it's a buzzing, a buggy mess. So I, I would say those are two very different things. But I see where you're coming from by buying pie. Uh, we also have, uh, let's see, Bone Crunch and Draco, Almind, and Dante, uh, or Don Tetvale with the two months. Thank you very much. Impulseo, AJ Murphy, and Faxon to do as well. Thank you guys for your support. I'm just going to keep calling my horse, even though I'm not going to use him, because I'm a smarty. Yes, I am. But very much appreciate your support, guys. Thank you for it. Also, Raw Train. Thanks, man. How do I like the game? Um, I'm actually really digging the game, dude. Oh, I discovered a grave. Oh. But yeah, I'm really enjoying it, man. Hmm. Do I want to dig this up? Yeah, I mean, if we're going to be a pickpocket and a thief, we might as well be a grave robber too, right? I mean, we're already doing so much. So, for those that haven't heard also, this is a pickpocket thief run, essentially. Like, this is this this entire run is all about thieving everything we can get, essentially. Um, Alright, so we're going to do inventory, and I'm pretty sure we brought a spade over here. I really hope we did. Yes! Okay, move to inventory. Just one. Okay. Yeah, well, I need to talk to Julie about making us a little thiefy mode. The co thief. <laughs> Although, co lurk is pretty good for a thiefy mode, to be fair. Oh god, that's a weird dig effect. Four cobwebs. Some. Oh, man. Uh, that was actually kind of depressing. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, let's go here. Nope. Let's go here. And then we need to... Uh, actually, let's go here. Let's start by weight. We'll put the book in there. Uh, we'll put the... Oh, we got to put these shrooms in there. The cobwebs. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Ugh. We're quickly getting a lot of... Way too much stuff. Um, go to the horse. I think we can drop some more stuff here. Like, I don't need this saber. 25 gold for 4 pounds? No, we don't need that. Uh, in fact, this is what I need to do. I need to sort by money. There we go. And we need to drop... All the stuff that's under 100 that we don't need. We don't need this nightgown. We don't need this at all. There's four more pounds. We don't need you. We don't need you. Uh, don't need you. Don't need you. Okay. So we just freed up a good amount of poundage. Now we'll go to here. Let's move over you and you and you and the 
marigold and the poppy. We're going to use him to basically hold our um, herbs and stuff. There we go. Beautiful. Okay. Let's keep moving. Oh. Nope. That's a different quest. thought we had some stuff coming up here. Oh, and that's right. We Thank you. Thank you. We definitely don't need four shovels. Thank you. That's absolutely right. We do not need four shovels. Um, let's go to... It will drop three. Great! That's like another 20 pounds. Thanks, Pat. Birds. I wonder if we can hunt birds. I, Dude, I literally have a list like 30 deep of things I want to do in this game right now. I was not expecting this game to be this good. Oh my lord. I already got Persona 5 to finish. I got Yakuza 0 right around the corner. We've got our Metal Gear Solid 5 franchise playthrough coming up. We got this dead woman in front of us. We have so much to do! Hi! What are you doing, you murderer? Uh, it wasn't me. I didn't kill anyone. The corpse was already lying there when I got here. What are you doing here? Nearby a corpse. Nearby a murder. I'm looking for humans. I'm killing any I find. Q? Not likely. Horseshit. You're all covered in her blood. I like to get in a fight now and again, and I've got the blood to show for it. So what? You! <laughs> you look more likely to shit yourself and run! Wait, what's going on here? <laughs> You're the killer. It couldn't be anyone else. And I'm off to report you, you vermin. Can I, like, tackle him or something? Oh, this is bad. What is... Sorry, bud. I can't let you live. I mean, it's nothing personal, but... Uh, okay, so we got some money. Great. Ooh, a knight's hunting sword. Uh, some really expensive boots. Shirt. Thanks. Now, what did we learn about falsely accusing people? That's right. That's right. We learned not to do it. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. Okay. All right. Remember, kids, snitches get stitches. Yeah, how do we tackle? LT to tackle? I remember it talking about that, and I think I want to do that in the future. Instead of, you know, running people down and murderizing them. Um, in fact, let me take a, a quick look here. Uh, didn't it at one point even talk about, like, literally it talked about tackling instead of killing? Um... What was it? What was it? It was... No, that's different. Surrendering in combat. I'll need to remember that. Man, there's a lot of these I still need to read. Uh... There was an on-screen prompt with the command. It was in your lower right when you were close enough. It said LT. Oh, thank you. Okay, cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. I'll have to look into that later. Okay. Great. Thanks, chat. For the record, um, killing that shopkeeper, that was completely in self-defense. I don't know if you noticed, but he was actually coming right for us. He actually charged us right before we got him. Um, and really, that was just completely self-defense at that point. I mean, it was it was, it was was us or them. It was us or them. Let's, let's be real here. It was us or them. Um, let's get this to the horse and this to the horse. I mean, y'all saw it. You were here. You, you saw that he turned around and charged us. Also, I think he had drugs on him, and I'm pretty sure I saw a gun. Um, <clears throat> also, I'm pretty sure he said something racist against your mother as as he turned around as well. Yeah, again, just, it was terrible. It was a really bad situation. Okay. Good day to you. Hey, buddy. Like your hat. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Don't know him. But they told me at the other camp that he comes to visit you. Well, they must have got themselves in a muddle. Definitely. There's no Ginger that I've ever heard of. Yo, where is this guy? And I think I left the... What? Oh, is that him? No. Who are you? You look different. I am honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. Okay, red shirt. I'm looking for Ginger, a stable boy from Neuhof. Do you know where I might find him? Well, if you go south from here, you'll come across Old Andrew's Inn on the road. If you go along the road from there to the east, you'll reach Neuhof. I know where Neuhof is. The boy isn't there. Ah, I see. I can't help you then. I've never noticed any one of that description around here. That's odd. The charcoal burners by the stream told me they know Ginger and that he comes to visit you. Horseshit! They probably just said that to get rid of you. Nobody likes a stranger sticking his nose into their business. It's the business of my liege lord. I'm here because of what happened at Neuhof, and that boy knows something about it. Let me talk to him. Hold your horses. First, prove you're with the garrison. How? Hey girl. You want me to bring the whole garrison here? If there's no other way because there's been two brutes asking after him too. And they look like they'd cut his throat without blinking. All right, one second. Okay, well, I mean, I'll gladly kill the bandits. But, um, what's that? Yeah, Rowan had a, had a super important message for you. Rowan has a super important message for me? What's that? Can, can you guess? Is it that little heart he's holding? No, it's <laughs> Oh, is it? It's <laughs> Yeah? Oh, oh, he's just gonna smile and laugh now with that with that little tiny heart pancake he has. That's kind of adorable. You're kind of adorable. You know that. And now you're eating it. Oh, it's all cinnamony. That looks delicious. That's my son's favorite sound to make, by the way. Just like that. But now he's eating, so he doesn't care. <laughs> it was a nice try. All right, I'll do it. All right, I'll deal with them. And then you'll tell me where you've got Ginger hidden, right? Right. You get rid of them, and I'll tell you. So where Great. can I find these bandits? I'm not sure exactly. There's lots of places to hide around here. But they came and went over the bridge, so I reckon they must be somewhere between here and our neighbours. Cool. There's a lot of woods to comb through. Not all that much. There's a path around there somewhere leading to an abandoned camp. Hey, game saved. Perfect. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing the bridge over here is the one that we went over. So the path he's talking about must be either this one? Oh, no, no, it's back this way. So the abandoned camp is probably here. Um, 
just to be clear, is A the quest to find the bandits? Yeah, okay. Oh wait, there's what is that? Oh, that X is mine. Well, it's not nearly as entertaining. All right, um, let's go see if that abandoned camp is there. Let's go check it out. All right, let's actually mark that on our map. Boop. So now we know how to get right to it. Why do I play with a controller? The only reason I play with a controller is because the combat in this game is based on what's called, uh, it's, well, there's not really a good name for it. I call it Flick Radial. Uh, it's the same kind of combat that's in uh, For Honor. It's the same kind of combat that was in Absolver. And the reason that I like using this, a controller more for it, is because whenever you're fighting someone, it's all about quickly pushing the joystick in a direction and then quickly changing direction a lot of times. And it is so much easier to do flick radial with a controller than it is a mouse. What happens is when I use a mouse with a game like For Honor or Absolver, I end up moving my mouse like all over the place because there's no point of reference for center. And because of that, you know, my mouse will end up like on the right side of my keyboard or if the action really picks up, I'll start bumping against my, my the other side of my, my speakers. It's just a mess. So, oh yeah, the guy did say it was north, didn't it? That's fine, we'll still go see what's over here. But yeah, anyway, it, the combat in this game makes the controller, for me, not for everyone, but for me, it makes it a lot better. Can you just call it directional combat? Not really, because directional combat indicates like wasit, which it's very much not. And the, the big thing, the reason I call it flick radial is because there's a center point that you always return to. And on a, on a controller, the center point is neutral. But with a mouse, there is no neutral center point. And that makes it more unintuitive. But with flick radial, you just let go of your, your thing and you're back at the center. You always have a reset point. So again, this is, I mean, yeah, this, this is just my opinion on it. A lot of people prefer mouse and keyboard for that combat. And more power to them. What is this? Oh, look at this. We found a little camp. There's food here. And a chest? Wait, why can't I... Oh, dude, it's locked. Is there someone here? I'm, dude, I'm totally doing this. You know what? I'm going to try this with this now. Oh my god, this is so much harder with a controller. Wow. It's like night and day easier with a mouse. Wow. <laughs> uh, yes. And that's it. Well, we found an abandoned camp, but apparently not the right abandoned camp. That's too bad. Um, okay, well. Do I like this game so far? Yes, I, I, I'm really liking this game so far. Well, what's this? You got an activity giver down here. Um, maybe he meant this. No, he did. He said it was over the bridge, but there was a path. He didn't mean that because and it couldn't have been up here because that's not where the. Can you hunt in this game? Oh yeah. He did clearly say they came from over the bridge and that there was a path that we could take to their camp. Are there many bugs or performance issues? There are bugs in the game, which is compounded by the fact that you can't save manually, um, under, except under specific circumstances. And uh, there are a few performance issues I ran into, but um, well, maybe it was this bridge, but I'm not sure there, if there's, yeah. Oh, wait, I had the correct camp? What? Oh. 
Uh, hold on. Let's go follow the road back to the camp. Maybe they're on the road or something. Maybe we have to wait a little bit. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. Good suggestions in chat. Thank you for them. Maybe we have to... The this, this this suggestion I just read is maybe we have to walk up the path. Maybe there's a scripted event somewhere. It could be that the... Like, every, every character in this game is alive. So they have their own sets of wants and things like that. Um, oh, hey, Zombie Radio. Thank you for your sub, dude. And uh, you may need to make sure you have your whispers turned on, bud. That's the only thing we can think of. Tenacious Zep, thank you for the sub as well. Dis Austin, thank you too, man. Hund! Cohen Chat, thank you for being you with the 51 months, Hund. Thank you, bud. Thank you very much for that, dude. All right, let's go, like, here. Uh, crash down a little bit. Let's wait for now. Uh, we also have... Oh, that's it. I think we're good. Awesome. Impulsio, AJ Murphy, and uh, Faxanadu as well. Thank you, dudes. Okay. Who's there? Greetings, my good man. May I ask you a question? Ask hey, first, then I'll ask you something. Really? What's going on there? Good, then. We're looking for Ginger, a stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? I was just about to ask you two the same thing. I'm looking for him too. Then it's a pity neither of us have found him yet. Thank heavens I've found you, though. What's I imagine you two might be able to tell me something about Neuhoff. What are you doing there? Hmm? I see. What's that? Well, we can give you a little demonstration of what happened there. Gone weak at the Bring knees, have you? <coughs> Gone weak at the knees, have you? Oh, I'm getting that hurt? destroyed by this other guy. Uh, this isn't good. What's the matter? Come on! Ow! Ow! Come on, you shit! Uh, how do I even target him? This is like. I can't even see what the other guy's doing to me. How am I? How am I supposed to do this? I don't understand. Enjoy this. What's the point? Of, how do? You, how? How are you supposed to fight multiple people? Shit. Uh. Funny enough, this is the first time I've had to fight multiple. People. You call yeah. Whoa, he's using the spinning axe attack. Yeah. Be careful with that one. Yeah. Dude, these guys Don't are also you. on point. I can't get a single attack in here. Yeah. Peace. Okay, can I say, or can I heal at all? No, I can't do anything. <laughs> Whew. <laughs> Is that the best you can? Yeah. Yeah, dude. Okay, there's got to be a different way to do this. Um, there's got to be a different way to do this. Hmm. Use the side to side stepping. You think so? I'm gonna try that exact fight again. I just, I didn't realize what I was doing with the two people. I think we're just gonna need to kind of move them into each other. Kind of like we were at the end. I feel like we got it at the end, but um, I feel like we started to get it at the end, but at that point it was too late. Could we poison their food? Maybe. Uh, we can maybe poison their food. The only problem is I don't have any poison. The alchemist had some, but I, I didn't do anything with the alchemist. Okay, so we want to try going like this way. What the devs showed the combat, they could easily switch targets. Okay. Hmm. Just piss in the pot? That, that'd make me laugh, but it wouldn't do anything to them, unfortunately. <laughs> Hmm. 
Use a bow? We could do that. I, I think we started to kind of get it at the end. We just need to make sure that we use our footwork to keep it so they're not on each side of us. If they if they surround us, that's when it's impossible and unmanageable. Kind of like it wasn't for Honor and Absolver, funny enough. But um, I think if we kind of make sure we only attack when the other person can't get to us, I think that's probably the best way to do it. We'll have to play with it. This is the first time we've had to do multiple people, so... It's probably going to take a little bit of a little bit of time getting this down. Just at the beginning of that fight, I I didn't realize how bad it was when there was when there was multiple people. It's super easy when there's one person, but man, it's a whole different ball game when you got two people. You can't even see what the other guy's doing, which kind of sucks. I should wait for nighttime and kill them in their sleep. We probably could do that, but actually, I I want to purposefully fight them two-on-one, because I want to get better at doing that. I'm sure this won't be the last time that we fight someone two-on-one. So, and we're probably going to have to fight even more later on. A lot of people in chat saying it's realistic this way. I agree with you. I think, I, I'm, not, I'm not complaining about it. I think it's actually pretty cool. I think it's actually really cool that it's this difficult. I love that even more about it, but we got to get good now. We got to get good. Are they here yet? I don't think so. Let's wait for an hour. Have I learned some combos? Well, the only combos in the game are with are timing based. And um, even then sometimes they don't always uh, uh, work. The enemy can still perfect block them and stuff. Oh. Still not back yet. Okay, let's wait another hour. I'm gonna go over here. Maybe I gotta be sneaking like last time. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, is it really already 12.15? Oh, shit. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Maybe I have to open this first? I don't, I don't know. Oh, wait a second. Oh, I might be a dingus. Hold on. Did we actually talk to the guy? We do need to find the bandits, right? Yeah, oh no, no we do, we do. Um... Gotta be careful here, man. My energy's going down. Guess I'm getting some rest. Screw this. I'm going to bed. Give me some of that energy. <laughs> yeah. oh. Greetings, my good man. 